colors are all around us. My shirt is white, the sky is blue, and my bank account is in the red. Today, we're gonna learn how to take these colors and create a nice color palette that we can use to create an awesome composition of motion graphics. My name is Jordan Bertone. Be sure to like the video as well as subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do before we start making graphics is choose at least two colors for our color palette. And this website, Coolers, is a great resource for that. You can choose a start and end color, then the website will fill in the palette for you, or you can just press the random button to get a randomly made palette for you to use. I'll be using this palette, starting with a nice teal color and ending with a dark blue. Now let's jump back into After Effects and use this palette to create our background. So go up to Layer, New, Solid, click OK, then go up to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. We'll set the start color to our teal, end color to the dark blue, then I'll set the start of ramp to be up and to the left of the composition like this, and set the end of ramp to be down and to the right of the composition like this. Lastly, we'll scale up the background to around 215%, we'll open the rotation, set a keyframe at the start of the comp, move to the end of the comp, and increase the rotation to 180 degrees so that it slowly spins as the comp goes on. Now we have our color palette selected and our background layer set up. Next, we're going to set up the different shapes in our composition and apply our color palette to them. The first shapes we'll create are just some basic large circles, so select the ellipse tool, make sure fill is set to solid color, stroke is set to none, then hold shift and click and drag to create a nice and big circle shape layer. Hold down the control key and double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point of the circle, then what we'll do is highlight our background layer we made, copy the gradient we made for it, and paste it on to our circle layer. Now we'll position our circle where we want it to be, then go into the settings for the circle's gradient and change the start and end to be at the top left and bottom right, just like we did with the background layer. Next, go up to Effect, Distort, Transform, hold the Alt key and click the stopwatch for position, then type in wiggle parentheses 0.5 comma 200. Now the circle will randomly move around the screen. Now duplicate the circle a few times, reposition the circles around the composition, and change their scale a bit so that they look different. Then go into the effect settings for each of the new circles and change their start and end of their gradients to match their new position like this. Next we'll make some moving lines, and we want the lines to be pretty big so we'll actually make it with the rectangle tool. So click and drag to create a long thin rectangle like this. Hold Ctrl and double click Pan Behind to center the anchor point again, then use the Align tool to center the line in the middle of the composition. Now we're going to copy and paste that same gradient effect that we've been using onto this rectangle as well, and change the start and end to be above and below it like this. Then right click the rectangle, select Precompose, we'll name it to Line, then click OK. Double click the Line Precomp to open it, go to Composition, Composition Settings, and we'll resize the comp to close in around the rectangle like this. Back out to the main composition, position the line wherever you want, we'll then set a position keyframe at the start of the timeline, move to the end, then bring the line up across the composition like this. Now you can just take this line we made, duplicate it, rotate it, and move it around the composition as many times as you want to fill things out. Before we continue, you probably know that making motion graphics can sometimes be difficult and time consuming. So to fix that problem, we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce awesome work under one single subscription price. You can easily preview templates from any of our packs just like our motion graphics advanced pack here and just click apply. Then you can easily modify the parameters of the template and you're done. So if you're looking to get some assistance in advancing your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Next, we'll make a quick rotating cross symbol to put across the composition. It's super easy to do, just select the text tool and type in the plus symbol. You can then go into the text tab, change it to whatever font you want, and then scale it up. We're going to set the color of this cross to white so that our composition has a neutral color and it's not all the same gradient that we've been using. Now hold Ctrl and double click the pan behind tool again so that the anchor point is centered, then press R for rotation. I'll click the stopwatch for rotation and type in time asterisk 50 into the expression controls panel. Now the cross will constantly rotate and what we'll do is pre-compose this cross layer, name it to cross, click OK. Now we can duplicate it and spread it around the composition 
then change the rotation of the pre-comps so that they all start at different angles. The last shape we'll add to the composition are some flickering dots to finish filling things out. Start by selecting the ellipse tool, then make an extremely small circle the size of a dot and control double click the pan behind tool one more time. Now open the dot shape layer, click add, repeater, then add repeater again, open the second repeater, set copies to 9, open transform repeater, for position set the x value to 0, y value to 100, and now you should have a rectangle of dots like this. We'll position this rectangle of dots at the bottom left of the composition, duplicate it, rotate the duplicate by 90 degrees, and then move it to the other side of the composition. Highlight both dot layers, right click, pre-compose, we'll name it to dots, click OK, then open the pre-comp. Set the duration of the two dot layers to be one second long, duplicate them, move the two duplicates over by one second, then change the position and rotation of the two dot layers so that they're at different spots than the previous two. Repeat this process of duplicating and rearranging the dots until you fill out your timeline with variations of dots. Now back in our main composition we have the dot layers flickering around the screen. And now we have our color palette set up and a bunch of different shape layers filling out the composition. Lastly we'll finish off the composition with some post-processing effects. Start by making an adjustment layer, so go up to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, then go to Effect, Perspective, CC Spotlight, and Effect, Noise and Grain, Noise. For the Spotlight, we'll set the From parameter to 2800 and negative 250. For the To parameter, we'll set it to 1500 and 350. Set the Height to 0, Edge Softness to 40, Intensity to 15, then alt click the stopwatch for intensity. In the expression controls, type in wiggle parentheses 10 comma 10, which will add a natural flickering effect to the spotlight. For the noise effect, we'll set the amount of noise to 12% and uncheck use color noise. Lastly, highlight the background layer, then go up to effect, color correction, brightness and contrast, alt click the stopwatch for brightness, and type in wiggle parentheses 1 comma 50 for an added flickering light effect. And we're done! A great composition of motion graphics enhanced with a nicely made color palette. If you're interested in taking your motion graphics to the next level, you're welcome to download our free After Effects packs with links available down in the description below. Also, hit that subscribe button for more tutorials just like this, and remember, always be creating.